I've been working on a little project lately that I want to show today called Home Assistant Cast. So the Home Assistant interface is used with, it runs everywhere where the web runs. It runs on desktops, tablets, and phones. And what else runs the web? Chromecast. And every Google device with Google Assistant also includes a Chromecast, either audio or video. So the, today I'm going to use the Google Nest Hub for my demonstration. You can pick them up nowadays for as little as 80 bucks. And with the built-in Chromecast, we can run Home Assistant Cast. So let's dive in. So to start Home Assistant Cast, you'll press the Cast button from the Home Assistant user interface. Once you do this, it will launch uh, the, the Home Assistant Cast receiver app on your Chromecast device. Your browser will actually send over the location of your Home Assistant installation and login credentials that you also use to access Home Assistant through the browser. Now that your, the Chromecast uh, is connected to your Home Assistant, we can start doing fun stuff. So, the Chromecast has the same real-time data stream as our browser frontend has. And so instead of thinking, am I gonna reinvent the whole wheel, like how are we gonna allow people to show things on the Chromecast that represent parts of the house, we're gonna reuse Lovelace. Because with our Lovelace configuration, we allow users to have widgets that represent different parts of the system. We can allow uh, users easily to extend the system by uh, using web components to build new widgets, they can easily share the configurations. So let's why not why reinvent the wheel? Let's just do it again. And so with Home Assistant Cast, it's possible to send Lovelace configurations to the, uh, the Chromecast device. And so this is cool. We have these widgets now, and it looks exactly like a browser. However, of course, on most Chromecasts are connected to a TV, and on TV there's no touch. And sadly, to mimic this on the Nest Hub, they actually blocked all the touch stuff, and so we cannot touch anywhere. So I was hacking around a little bit on the, with the Chrome debugger, trying to debug my app when it broke down, and I realized with a little tweak, it was actually possible to get uh, out of this touch blocking. And so all of a sudden, I realized it was possible to just move things around like and interact with the system as if it's a, a real user interface. So now we, the fun starts. Now we have a fully functional UI. However, it's cool to cast from your phone, but a lot of times you might just want to show something on the TV in your living room if something happens in your home. You know, you want to have a user interface shown based on a home automation. For example, maybe there's someone at the front door. You want to show a live feed of the camera of the front door and you want to see who else is home. So to do this, we're actually uh, lucky. Home Assistant implements the Chromecast protocol on the back end as well. So we've done this for the last five years. And this comes in very handy now because we will be able to launch Home Assistant Cast, send credentials, and show configuration based on like anything happening in the system. And to mimic this, I've added a small button, next screen. And when I'm gonna press the next screen button, it will actually send a message to the Home Assistant backend to launch a new user interface. Um, the new user interface uh, is fully functional again. Um, and you know, this one shows like a thermostat, it shows a, a camera preview. Um, and, this allow, and by keeping all the configuration in the back end, it will become very easy for people to kind of create different screens and stitch them together with navigational buttons. Um, and so that's all I have to show today. This is just a preview. Um, it's not yet in Home Assistant. I cannot promise it's not gonna be in the next release for sure because we're cutting the beta uh, on Wednesday. It's gonna be in a future release. So just keep an eye on the Home Assistant blog for updates. Mm-hmm. <laughs>